Shaco. I am so, so excited to be with you guys today. Does anyone know who I am? Well, if you watched online Shaco last week, you should know. If you guess Moses, you are right. My name is Moses, and I'm going to be with you today and tell you a story. A story about God gave me the Ten Commandments. But before I tell you the story of what God did on Mount Sinai, I want to go back. I want to go back a little bit further to what we talked about last week. Or what I was told you learned about as you watched the video. And if you guys watched that video, you should remember that God called Moses. He called me into Egypt, where my Israelites, my people, were stuck in slavery. And God used me to deliver them from slavery. And by using a bunch of different plagues, does anyone remember what he sent? Yeah, he sent flies, those little things that fly around, frogs that jump up and down. Uh, he sent boils that were on the people's skins and a whole bunch of other things. And finally, Pharaoh said, get out, go away from here. And so I led the people out. And after three months, we came to a place called Mount Sinai. And that is where our story begins today. And when we got there, he called me Moses up to the top of the Mount Sinai, and he gave me the Ten Commandments. Now, before we go any further in the story, I want to see how well you know the Ten Commandments. Hopefully, if you came on early, you were able to read the Ten Commandments. You have them up in your mind, but let's see how much you remember. So I'm going to give you two options, and you have to tell me which one is one of the, one of the Ten Commandments and which one is not. All right, you ready? Here we go. Have no idols. Worship only God. Or, do not give away your toys. All right, which one is it? If you said, have no idols and worship only God, you're right. That is one of the Ten Commandments. All right, round two. Here we go. Have no other gods besides God. Or, brush your teeth every night before bed. Oh, I hope you do that. All right, if you said, have no other gods besides God, you're right. Good work. All right, moving on. Oh, remember to make your bed in the morning. I'm new to this one, but that's so important. Or do not steal. Which one is one of the Ten Commandments? If you said do not steal, you're right. Good job. Good work. All right, last one. Do not cross the street alone. Again, very wise not to cross the street by yourself if you're not old enough. Always ask an adult or do not lie. Which one? If you said do not lie, you're right. Good work. Awesome job. All right, it's time to continue with our story. Our story today is found in Exodus 20, verse 12 through 17. Through Moses, God had freed the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. Now Moses and the Israelites were in the wilderness, camped at the base of Mount Sinai. God made a covenant agreement with the people of Israel. God said, if you listen carefully to me and keep my covenant, you will be my people. The Israelites agreed to do everything the Lord said. Moses went up on the mountain and the Lord came down in fire. God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The first four talked about how to worship God alone. The last six commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a right relationship with each other. You must honor your father and your mother. You must not murder. You must keep your marriage promises. You must not steal. You must not lie. You must not want what belongs to someone else. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days. And God gave Moses many more laws. When God was finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two stone tablets that he had written on with his own finger. So God gave me Moses, the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai. Did you catch what the first four were about? The first four talked about how we're supposed to worship God alone. How about the last six? Yeah, the last six talk about how we are supposed to treat other people. So let's see how much else you know or you remember from what I read I'm going to ask you a question. I just want you to shout it out if you think you know the answer. All right, question number one. What should you do to your father and mother? Should you disobey them or should you honor them? 
Yeah, the fifth commandment says we are supposed to honor our father and mother. Next question, is it okay to lie? Maybe just a little lie is okay, right? A little one? What do you think? Is it okay to lie, yes or no? No, it's never okay to lie. Commandment number nine says do not give false testimony against your neighbor, which means do not lie. Next one, is it okay to want something someone else has? You know, a bunch of the Israelites, they had these really sweet looking carts that I really, really wanted. You know, the kind that, that sit up high and have smooth wheels so you're not bumping around all the time. Is it okay to do that? No, the commandment says it is not okay to want what someone else has. Next question, how long was Moses on the mountain? 30 days, 40 days, 50 days, what do you think? Yeah, he was up there for 40 days. I was on top of the mountain. 40 days, it was a long time. Next and last question. Can anyone keep God's law perfectly? So these 10 commandments, can anyone keep them perfectly? No, no one can keep the 10 commandments perfectly. You see, God gave us these rules. He gave us the 10 commandments to help us know how to love him and to love other people. God's laws show us what he requires. He requires perfect righteousness for us to be perfect. But everyone has sinned against God and no one can be perfect. And that is why God sent his son Jesus, his one son that he loves so, so much. But he sent him to come into the world to die on the cross. A terrible death. Because he knew that you couldn't keep these laws. But since Jesus was perfect and he died for you, you are saved. And will we ever be able to keep these laws here on earth? No, we will make mistakes. But when we do, we have to ask God for forgiveness, that he would come and forgive us of our sins, and we need to try not to do them again. And ask God to help you with that. All right, let's take a moment to pray to God, thanking him for all that he has done. Pray with me. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Ten Commandments. Thank you for giving us rules so we can know how to love you and to love other people. We cannot obey you perfectly, but thank you for sending Jesus so we can be forgiven when we trust in him. In Jesus' name, amen. There's one more thing I would like to do with you today. I'd like to go over your theme passage, which is found in Isaiah 41, verse 10. So read it with me. It says, so do not be afraid. I am with you. Do not be terrified. I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. I will hold you safe in my hands. I will always do what is right. Thanks for reading along with me, and thanks for joining me for Online Shakeout. I am so glad that I was able to teach you guys today and share what God did in my life. I hope that you guys spend time with him, pray, read your Bibles. He loves you so much. Have a great week, everyone.